Okay, Sagittarius, so this is your reading for the 21st to the 22nd. Um, and this reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, okay? Um, I, I decided to do something different here, but first let me go ahead and tell you that I recorded a whole video and there was an error after I um, thought I had finished. So um, instead of like going through it and pulling more cards, I'm just going to go back through the reading for you guys, okay? Now, you guys know I already shuffle my cards every reading, but, um, you know, these readings take some energy, so sometimes it's tough to do a whole video and then just start over again, okay? So, what I've done is I pull your energy right here, and then right here, I've pulled energy for the person that's coming towards you or lurking around you, their energy, and then what they want from you, okay? So, the first card I pulled was the devil, all right? So, with the devil... Um, there's somebody that's very strongly attached to you, okay? Somebody that you are attached to as well. But I'm getting that there's something about this person that um, does not sit well with you. There's something about them, the way they behave, um, the way they speak that you do not like, okay? Now, the second card I pulled was a Knight of Swords here. Now... This is an Aquarius Capricorn um, type of individual, I feel, that really wants to say something to you guys. They want to speak a truth to you guys about, you know, being very attached to you, um, feeling very strongly attracted to you, feeling possessive over you even. But they're very, they're coming across to me as very aggressive, very anxious, okay, um, that... You know, there's really something that they, they like they're anxious to get to you. They're anxious to say something to you. And it's going to come across very sharp and abrupt is what I'm getting here. Okay. It's not going to come across as they intend for it to. Okay. And maybe they intend for it to be that way because they really don't see, you know, they don't see that how they actually interact with you is basically pushing you away. Because it's, it's, it's too aggressive, it's too, um, it's too like a bad person, almost. And then I pull the four of wands. So this is somebody that has either left a relationship or is leaving a relationship, wants to leave a relationship to be with you guys because they feel like, like this draw to you, okay? But it, like, again, like I said, it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a sexual energy. It's an undeniable attraction. It's sitting there and wondering, um, trying to forget about somebody or trying not to think about this person, but those thoughts just keep creeping in your mind. That sort of energy. Like regardless, if you try not to think about this person, you may start seeing their name. You may start seeing synchronicities, hearing songs that you guys used to listen to or that songs that remind you of this person even. This is a feeling that I'm getting from this individual, um, that they feel this magnetic appeal towards you, okay? They also, if this is not them leaving a relationship, coming towards you, this is this person wanting to come towards you, period, to discuss being with you. Or they may even come to you and ask for your hand in marriage even, or just to... Hang on, guys. Oh, the police pulled up and stopped this guy that was walking in front of the house. I was wondering why they were pulling up. But, um, yeah, they want to discuss this relationship with you. They want to be with you is what I'm getting here. Um, then I pull the Eight of Wands here, and it's like, oh my gosh, this person, whoever this is, guys, is really wanting to communicate something to you, okay? And it may be something that, um, it may not come across as like this loving feeling, um, but they definitely want to, talk to you, to date you, um, to communicate with you, because I'm getting that this person 
feels this level of obsession um, that I'm not I'm not I'm not okay with it. It, it just feels like this kind of energy where um, it's not good. All right. So then I pull the strength here. I feel that for a while, this person has been sitting on some information, holding back some information that they now want to tell you. They've been fighting some tendencies. Okay. And I'm feeling like they've been fighting also communicating with you, telling you what they want from you. Um, they've been fighting it. So then I come and I pull the King of Swords here. And they have definitely been sitting on their high horse, I feel, sitting on their throne, um, basically saying, oh, I'm not reaching out. I'm not talking to them. I'm not letting them know that I'm attracted to them, you know, that sort of thing. But now it's like something is overwhelming in them. Maybe that they have, um, you know, just realized these feelings that they have for you. Or either they've heard something about you guys being in a relationship even is what I'm getting, okay? Um, and I feel like they want to like, they want to come in between something. They want to stop something is what I'm feeling here. Maybe they see you guys being happy. Maybe they see you, you know, being stable. And that's alluring. So whereas, you know, they kind of withdrew before. Um, now they want to come towards you rushing in is what I'm getting here. Okay. So who's actually coming towards you is a page of cups in, on the opposite side. This is the vice versa material. This is, this is the page of cups in its true form, the, the light side. Okay. But this way it's all dark. Okay. They're in the water. So what I'm getting here is that this person has some anger issues. For sure. And they function out of their their shadow side a lot. A lot. Okay. Um, I'm, what I'm getting is that this side doesn't show a lot. This side doesn't show a lot. Or it takes a lot of effort. And this is a page. Okay. This is like who they um, show to the public. Like with ease. Their natural state. Okay, very angered, I feel. And I'm also getting here, this is the Seven of Swords. See how dark that is? Um, that this person, yeah, this person um, lied to you, deceived you, cheated on you maybe. Um, just, you know, just was not a good person to you is what I'm feeling here, okay? And, um... And I'm getting that, you know, they don't necessarily want to uh, come back, but they want to come back because there's something I feel like they want to, there's something about you that is drawing them back in. Maybe they feel like when they left that you should have, you know, fallen down, you should have been down and out, um, but they see that you're not. And I think that's like what's drawing them in and they want to like hook you back into whatever they had um, going with you or going on with you, okay? What they want is the Ace of Cups in reverse. Look at the bright side of it, okay? And the Queen of Wands. This person wants you to give love to them so they can reject it, basically. It's almost, it's like this, um, this narcissistic, um, energy where it's like they, they want to suck the energy out of you. They want to feed off of your energy, um, because you have something going on for yourself that they want a part of. Okay. They want you to make them feel better. This is the kind of person that says, I don't need anybody. I don't, I'm good by myself. It's me against the world. That kind of person. But they're not good by themselves, okay? They're not. But they do like for people to give them attention so they can turn their back and, you know, and, and have somebody steady trying to figure out what's wrong with them. That type of individual, okay? 
So, again, we have Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio energy, Aquarius energies here, Capricorn, and um, yeah, Capricorn, Aquarius, Aries energy um, is what I'm feeling strongly here in Scorpio. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you and I apologize um, for not shuffling, but it, it takes a lot, okay? So I'll be speaking with you guys soon.